Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Or tonight, that is. <laughs> Hope you guys are all doing well. And today is Vlogmas Day 7. Um, I had to do it in the house tonight again because it was uh, really uh, cold today and the wind was blowing. And so I decided I just would wait till this evening and do my video because and plus on top of that I went shopping again today and got home really late and I'm tired <laughs> again so <laughs> but anyway I want to get up here and share with you guys what I've got now I'm gonna try to spread my projects you know my Amy's and stuff out a little bit but um, tonight I'm going to share with you the ornament and the, my two blankets so that way like I said I can just spread it out a little bit and to have something to show on different days and so tonight what I'm going to share with you is my blanket. Now this one is by Maria's Blue Crayon if you're new and um, I'm having so much fun making this and this is going to be a, uh, a baby blanket that hopefully one day I'll have a, a great uh, grandchild and I'll just pass it on. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to start doing things like that. And uh, so I didn't realize until uh, probably just a while ago that I'm actually starting on the third row. So I'm excited. <laughs> it's coming along pretty good. And so now the first square is going to be a solid color. And this is a Hobby Lobby uh, Red Heart Super Saver. <laughs> And I don't know if that's Kelly Green or Patty Green, but it's that Red Heart Super Saver that you can get there. And the square I'm going to share with you is, I think it's going to be my favorite on the blanket. I've never made one of these before. At like, I've, I mean, I've made one as an ornament, but I've never made a gingerbread house. <laughs> and so I was thinking, I think I'm going to buy me a kit and see about making me one. I think it'd be fun. And so, but anyway, I had a lot of fun making this. And this is a free pattern by, I don't know if I'm going to say her name right. It's uh, Rafa Musa Designs. That's the name of her website. Now, I don't, I can't really say what her, real, her name is because I don't know how to pronounce it. So, but that's the name of her website. And it is free on her blog if you'd like to go check it out and make you a gingerbread house like this for a square. And like I said, it was a lot of fun to make. Now, I did it in... A size four millimeter hook and then I did it in Hobby Lobby I love this yarn in taupe and then the rest of it well the green orange yellow and I believe this pink is all in mainstay and then the blue is Hobby Lobby I love this yarn and I don't have the ball band to it anymore and this is Hobby Lobby I love this yarn and I think it's limelight I've made a lot of my uh, Halloween decorations out of it. And then this is that, um, I'm thinking that's that, I'm gonna say that's Red Heart Super Saver in that cherry red. And yeah, and then Mainstay White. But I just think that's so cute. You, that'd be really cute to do a whole blanket in different uh, styles of gingerbread houses. <laughs> that's a cute, that would be a good idea. And then the door, you know, when I saw the door, I thought, oh, that looks like it might be hard, but it was really easy to do. So, real easy pattern. And I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out if you want to make you one, too. Okay, that's what I have there. And, oh, I forgot to show what it's going to look like. Here, that will be the first one. And then I've got this one. And then my uh, mainstay green will go on this side. So that's going to be pretty. <laughs> I'm excited about it. All right. Now the next one I have to share with you guys is my scrappy blanket. I'm super excited about it. I feel like I need to scoot y'all back just a hair, but my back's killing me. So I'm trying to rest on, um, on this wall. I've been, I've been doing a lot of walking here in the last few days. And so I think I need to take it easy tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, but I actually have been in the mood to go to the antique store. So we'll see. <laughs> I want to get some more, uh, see if I can find some more treasures. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got a few I want to share with you guys, and I need to remember to do that because I do have a few antiques I want to show you guys I'm really excited about. And one of them is not an antique. It's something I found at Walmart, and I'm really excited about that one too. But anyway, back to my scrappy blanket. I am really excited about this. Um, 
as I've mentioned before, scrappy projects are my favorite. And so this is what we have so far. And it's starting to grow. And last night I said, or I sat there and put in uh, the mainstay blue. And this is that Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And I think it's called Abergeen or Abergeen. I don't know. I can't pronounce it right, but it's that. It looks it looks mauve, like a mauve color. So that's what we have there. So let's see what he put in the project bag for us tonight. Here it is. Let's see. Wow. Feels like a skein and maybe a partial skein. Hopefully you put two in there. <laughs> it's not just one. He knows, so I've told him we need two colors in there hold together. All right, let's pull out one of them. Yeah, it's a partial skein. Oh, look, that's going to be pretty. Now, we needed that. We needed a bright color, a lighter color in there to make it pop. And so, that's going to work really good. That'll be pretty up against that. Now, we had a little bit of white there, but it's mixed in with that red and gray and the green. So, you can't really see it, but you can this one. So, that's going to be pretty. So, I'm anxious to see what he stuck in there to go with it. All right, let's see. Now, this one's a pretty good size skein. All right. Oh, yeah. Now, that's going to be pretty, too. That looks like that looks like Red Heart Super Saver, the Ombre, I do believe. And it's in different shades of blue, so that's going to be pretty. And I'm going to be putting three rows in, so hopefully I'll be able to get several. Yeah, it looks like I'll be able to get a couple shades of that blue in there. So that's going to be so pretty up against that let's see if i can do this here we are so that's gonna be pretty and i'll sit there tonight and put that in while i watch some youtube and i'm using a size six millimeter hook and i actually sewed in my ends too so i was happy with myself on that i don't want to wait till the end i've done that before and that was a lot of sewing in so that's what we have there now, the next one I'm going to share with you is the ornament for the tree for tonight. And I'm really excited about it because I, uh, I've i never made, like, I've made some uh, gingerbread, but I've never made, if I remember right, uh, like a, a gingerbread house like this. <laughs> and uh, I've been wanting to make this one. And this is by Jada in Stitches. And as soon as I seen that she had came out with this, I always wanted to make it, but I never got around to it. And so this is one that I made right here, and I love this. I actually made two of them, but one of them was a gift. And so this one was really easy. And, you know, as always, Jada is real, she's a really good teacher. If you don't know, um, you know, if, you, if you're learning how to crochet and everything, Jada, you know, she's a good teacher. I, that's who I learned from. And one of them. The other one was Paula Daniele, I believe. I don't think she does it anymore, but that was another one. I learned uh, starting off with her. And then Sharon Uwala, I think that's how you say her name. Amy Groomy to go. But uh, those three are the ones that I learned from. But anyway, um, this is her pattern. And like I said, she's got a video tutorial on it. And I believe I used a four millimeter hook. But this was so much fun to make. And I could see... I can see these all over a tree or maybe making a garland or something like that or just sitting around the house and stuff. Maybe do, using some of that big old bulky yarn. Now, that would be cool. <laughs> but anyway, I did it in that mainstay brown. And then I, uh, the white has got the glitter in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's that Red Heart Super Saver. And then it's got little snowflakes that you add on the roof there. So cute. And then the door... Or around the frame of the house there she shows you how to do that it's red and white to make it look like a candy cane and that's probably that looks like that uh, Hobby Lobby I love this yarn in red that same old uh, skein I got from the antique store <laughs> my kitty cat <laughs> and then she shows you just how to twist it and then to do that but I love this so fun and it's so cute so that'll be my ornament to put on the tree for tonight all right well i guess that's all i have to share with you guys that right there so i'm gonna hop off here and go work on my blankets i'm super excited about that and try to get me some rest i am i'm tired i i slept hard last night but i didn't do very good on my uh, sleep 
sleep apnea, I guess you could say. I have a CPAP machine, but I didn't do good, real good last night, so I guess I slept too hard. I don't know. But anyway, so hopefully tonight I'll be able to get some uh, good rest that I need. But anyhow, I'm going to hop off of here, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed night. And I will see you tomorrow on Vlogmas Day uh, 8. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are all doing well. Well, today is Vlogmas Day 8. Can you believe that? It's already Day 8. It is flying by <laughs> and Christmas is going to be here before you know it. I've, uh, I've decided that whenever you do a vlog every day, it does fly by a lot faster. So, <laughs> But anyway, I wanted to come outside and do a video because I miss doing them outside and it is still pretty chilly. So, I'm going to probably go through this pretty fast. I'm going to try because <laughs> it already I'm already getting cold. But anyway, I uh, want to get up here and share with you guys what I made for today. Now, I do have a project for today, and I just think it's the cutest thing. And it is by Olive of Stringy Ding Ding, and it is out of a series that she came out with, I believe, in 2019. And I've made a couple of them, three of them. Well, something like that. <laughs> but anyway... I had to have the reindeer to go with my sled that I got up there where my invisible TV is. And I am going to uh, do a little video to share with you guys what I'm talking about up there. And uh, I've got the Mr. Claus, the smaller one that she has, sitting in the sled and he needs a reindeer. So I, I knew I wanted to make this. And so I made it. And I do. I love this little deer. Now... Uh, this is a free pattern on her blog, and she also has a, a PDF download, a paid-for PDF download, if you'd like to have that instead. Now, I did this in the um, 3.2 millimeter hook, and I did it in the uh, Premier yarn that you get at the Dollar Tree, and it is the colorway Butterscotch, and I love that name for yarn. <laughs> I love Butterscotch candy, too. <laughs> and the brown is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, and it's brown. And then this is a Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red. And then that's that Mainstay White. And then he's got his little safety eyes. But he's just the cutest little thing. And she's got like, I've done the Mr. and Mrs. Claus, which I need to make another Mr. Claus. And she's got a, a snowman and a snowwoman. And she's got two angels. And so I need to make the snow, one of the, one of the two of the snow people. And then I'm going to make one of the angels. And I did, and she has, she's also got a Christmas pudding and I have made that one. Now, the only thing I did different here is on her pattern, she doesn't have the little horn that comes off the side, but I wanted to go ahead and add that. And I just followed her pattern all the way down to row five, I do believe, and then just attached it there like that. Just kind of spread them out a little bit and popped them on there. <laughs> I love this little deer. He is so cute. So yeah, uh, Santa had to have Rudolph on his, you know, pulling his sled. <laughs> and anyway, I will put the link down below if you guys would like to go and make you a Rudolph. All right. There's my finished object for today. And so my hands are getting cold. <laughs> um, now the next one is the a Christmas blanket and I'm making it uh, like a baby blanket and it is by Maria's Blue Crown and what I showed you last night was this which it's upside down now this is a pattern by well I can't say her name but it's off the uh, website called R R Rafamusa <laughs> Designs and it is free on her blog and I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out. And it is um, the uh, gingerbread house. And I, I had so much fun making this. I think this one's my favorite so far. And so I got it on there last night. And then I sewed the other, or did the single crochet of the uh, other color on there. And this is that Red Heart Super Saver. And I think it's Patty or Kelly Green. And then this is that Mainstay Green. And so the square I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you to add on it to it today is by Maria's Blue Crayon, and it is the mitten one, <laughs> and it is free on her blog, and I just thought it was the cutest thing. Now I started to go back and do some uh, top stitching, like like the the mittens were connected, and I I started to do that, but I thought no, I'm just gonna do it just the way like she did it, and so that's what I did there. 
And then the other color on the other side is going to be that Red Heart Super Saver. So that's going to be so cute. I don't know if I can get that up there. Like, it's going to be like that. <laughs> now, the color that I used is Mainstay Blue and Mainstay White. And it is so cute. So I'll sit in there tonight and work on that and get it together. Now, the next one is the Scrappy Blanket. It's the Surprise Scrappy Blanket. And uh, um, I get so excited with this because I absolutely love it. It's, it is exciting, especially when hubby goes in and he picks out a scrap ball and puts it in there. And then, you know, I don't know what it is until I show it to y'all. And it's a surprise to both of us. And so I'm excited about it. And so let me dig it out here. It really worked up really pretty, the colors that he picked last night. It's growing too, so it's... You know, I needed this bigger bag. <laughs> okay. Now, last night, we put in the white, and that other is Red Heart Super Saver in the ombre. And I think it really made it pop. So, it's really pretty. I love this blanket so much. I do. I love a scrappy blanket. And I'm using a size 6 millimeter hook. So, now let's see. Leave it right there what colors he's got in the project bag for us today. <laughs> oh my goodness, I wish it was warmer out here. <laughs> my hands is what usually goes first, or my feet. <laughs> and then from when they start hurting, then I just kind of, I give up. <laughs> All right, it feels like it's two balls, so and one of them is pretty big, so I think I know which one this one is. <laughs> Let me get my bag open. I actually... I actually frogged this. It's been a while, but I frogged it. It was a shawl that I was working on, and after I got going with it, I lost, you know, steam, and I just finally, I just frogged it. So, yep, <laughs> I knew it. It was that red, that big old red. This is Red Heart Super Saver, and I keep saying it's that cherry, that cherry red. I think that's what it is. It almost looks orange on there, <laughs> but anyway, it's that cherry red Red Heart Super Saver, so that's going to be so pretty up against that so i kind of knew which one it was by the way it felt <laughs> so that'll look good all right but i don't know what's in this what the other color is because i do not i just don't know <laughs> make sure i'm hung up here i got so much it's coming undone look at that it's so big there <laughs> it's a big old yeah i got a mess now guys <laughs> Oh, I don't want to pull the other one out. I don't want to see it first. Oh, okay. All right, let's just throw that one in there. <laughs> All right, what color does he have for us next? Oh, drop my blanket on the old ground there. Goodness gracious. All right. <laughs> see what the cold weather does to me. It affects me big time. And the next color that he put in there is, oh, yeah, that is that, is that mainstay uh, blue is it is it teal are they, are they calling it teal i can't remember yeah i love this this is gonna be so pretty so let me get that back out again see if i can do it without dropping it on the ground you got that and that right up against oh goodness right like that so that's gonna be really pretty oh and it's that blue yep it's gonna be another blue right up against that blue so <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cheat <laughs> I'm going to keep it that way, but it's a little bit of a different blue. It's more of a brighter blue. All right, so that's what we got there. Now, I think, I don't know, I can't remember how many balls are left in there for him to be able to choose from, but after he gets through choosing out of the pile, then I'll just throw everything back in there that we already used here and start all over again. So it's exciting. I love this blanket so much, and right now I can definitely use it. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to go in and I'm going to warm up a little bit before I have to come back out and do my chores and get my evening walk if I decide to do that. But anyway, I will get back up here later on tonight to reveal to you guys the ornament for the day. So I'll see you real soon. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to reveal to you the ornament of the day for the tree. And it is still Vlogmas Day 8. <laughs> now, this is a uh, pattern by Jada and Stitches. And uh, I, I had to make it. <laughs> uh, I can't remember when she came out with it, but she does have a video tutorial on it. And whenever I've seen it, it brought back so many memories. 
And so I wanted to make it for the tree, and it is a pair of mittens. <laughs> Whenever I made the applique for my blanket, my blanket, I wanted to make a pair of mittens to go with it to add to the tree. And it, you know, brought back a lot of memories for me because whenever I was a kid, me and my brothers, back in the day, uh, whenever it would snow, we would always, uh, you know, wear our mittens to go out and make a snowman. But whenever those mittens got wet, we'd always go into the house and we would get into the sock drawers. <laughs> we would get out a pair of socks. We would take our mittens off because they were wet and cold. And then we would go put them by the fireplace because we had a fireplace. And while they were drying, we'd go get a pair of socks <laughs> and use that. And then whenever those got wet, we'd go back in and check on those mittens. And if they were still wet, we'd go get another pair of socks. <laughs> we did that quite often. So I'm, I'm sure my mother didn't like that too much. <laughs> I don't remember if she ever said anything or it's not that she didn't like it. She probably thought, boy, I've got a lot of laundry to do. <laughs> But anyway, it just brought back memories. And I used a, oh, a 4.5 millimeter hook. And the yarn that I used is that uh, Red Heart Super Saver with the glitter in it. And I, I don't know if it's going to pick up on my phone there, but it's got the glitter in it. And this is, oh, you think I'd remember by now. I think it's um, Red Heart Super Saver, that the blue with the metallic, or it's a uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Either way, it's blue and it's got the metallic in it. <laughs> But anyway, it was really easy, and she has a video tutorial on it if you'd like to go and make you a, a set of mittens. So I'll be putting that on the tree, and hopefully the kitties will leave it alone. But I can tell you right now, I'm not going to hold my breath on it because I know they won't. I do have a picture I'll, I'll insert right here of whenever I got up uh, this morning. There were like five ornaments laying here under the tree, so... Yeah, and actually, Hubby just got through picking up a bunch of them after we got done with the chores. They had gotten to the tree again, <laughs> so they're ornery. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I need to, you know what I need to do? Is just give them their own little tree and just decorate it. Uh, Sarah Sash just came out with some uh, little uh, fish ornaments because her friend has a cat. And so she made some fish ornaments. And maybe that's what I need to do is make some of those ornaments and put them on that little tree. <laughs> I might just do that. Give them their own little Christmas tree so they'll leave mine alone. <laughs> but anyway, now the other thing I want to share with you, and I've laid it down somewhere. Oh, here it is. Uh, I was watching Valerie from uh, Cuddly Cats Crochet today. And her and Michelle from, uh, oh, I wrote it down here. Pixie Marie's creation had done, I believe it was an ornament swap. And so today she uh, revealed the ornament that she got and it was the cutest thing. It was a bike. And uh, whenever she showed it, it brought, uh, it automatically brought back, it brought back memories to me because she told the story about how uh, she didn't, she wouldn't use the brakes. I think what she said on the bike, she would always, she'd drag her feet. <laughs> But whenever she said that, it reminded me so much of the bike that I rode. I, I actually learned how to ride a bike on this bike, and it looked just like it. So I knew I had a picture in the uh, photo album of me of whenever I was growing up. And so I went and found it just a while ago, and I'm going to share it with you guys. <laughs> and so, uh, Valerie, I, you uh, you brought back memories showing that to me. So here we go. <laughs> I wanted to share this with you. This is me. Uh, I'm going to say this is back in the 70s, and, uh, yes, I have a green dress on with some red socks. Hey, I was in Christmas colors and didn't realize it, <laughs> but that is me. Uh, I'm going to say I was about, oh, nine or ten years old, and I learned how to ride a bike on that big old bike right there, and we lived on a dirt road, and on that dirt road, we were the only house, and we lived right next to the lake, and at the end of that road was a park. And there was only one way in and one way out. And boy, did we ever get the traffic on that dirt road. We had some crazy drivers, let me tell you. I can tell you some stories. <laughs> but anyway, I would uh, ride that bike all the way down, you know, through the little park there. And it was it was just a little area where you could park your vehicle and uh, if you wanted to put a boat out in the lake and stuff. And so you had an area there just to, uh, you know, put, do that. But uh Anyway, I would ride that bike down there, and it was all downhill, and then you had to come back uphill, and then ride it all the way to the end of the dirt road, and then come back through. But one of my favorite things to do, as you can see, I've got the uh, stick in my hand. I would get a stick, and I would put it in the spokes and let it make that noise. 
<laughs> I just thought that was the funnest thing to do. But anyway, yeah, my fashion senses are like that still to this day. <laughs> I'm not no matchy matchy. I never was then and I'm not now. You give me a hoodie and a sweatshirt and a pair of sweatpants and a pair of jeans, I am the happiest person in the world. <laughs> so that I dress the same now as I did then. So but anyway, I didn't realize that in that picture, yeah. And it was summertime. I wouldn't be dressed like that in the wintertime. <laughs> but yep, that's me if you can see it there. But I wanted to share that with you, Valerie. I just It just brought back a lot of memories, and I love hearing that story, what you said. But I'll put a link down below to her channel and to uh, Michelle's channel. And you guys can go check it out. And to Jada's uh, video that she has on how to make those mittens. But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off of here and go work on my blanket. I may just put the uh, three rows in and then see what else I can find. But anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed night, and I will see you tomorrow. I do believe it's Vlogmas Day 9. Uh, sometimes I kind of mess up on that. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys later.